Hello, I'm Bill Lydic with PDS Equipment out of Nashville. We're the Mamaki UV distributor for the United States on their UV flatbeds. And today we're going to be talking about jig print and creating templates. This is a typical jig that was manufactured. It's the full size of our bed size. And this is for some cell phone cases, iPhones. So we're going to be teaching you how to lay this out and create a matching template. So here you see the file where the jig was actually created. Now I'm going to enlarge this and scroll this up. So that you can see the dimensions. Now there's a few that are important. One is the size of the product. One is the gutters, vertical and horizontal. And this other one that goes from here all the way across the gutter and this one from here all the way across this gutter and that's called integral pitch and we'll be talking about that in a minute now we move to our raster link 6 software and you notice i have named this jig iphone 7 and 8 you must always create a jig by name and then once you select it it's there the first thing we are going to do is we're going to create the jig size. Now because this particular jig is larger than our print area, I default in our jig definition is 24.016, 16.535. Now the jig is actually larger than that. That's the maximum default. The reason that doesn't matter is we always calculate from zero, zero, bottom right. So anything up and over larger is irrelevant. So we create the jig width. In this case, it's maximum bed. We go to position, which we're going to start out at zero origin. So it's zero, zero. The next thing we do is we create the product size. Remember the dimensions I pointed out to you earlier. So this iPhone case is 5.5 inches wide or left to right and it is it moved on me so pause. so here's our material size at 5.5 left to right you can see it's laying horizontally and here is our height the next thing we define is how many rows up and how many rows across that matches this template. The next thing is that larger dimension I pointed out in that file called interval pitch. This takes into consideration from this edge all the way across your first left gutter and the bottom height is from this edge all the way across to the top. This calculates it precisely. The next thing we do is in this thing, this box right here, we can define the image. Is it going to center or center right, center left, center up, center down? You can select that. Now once we do that, we can go and click on this. This allows me to click print, which I won't do at this time, and it will literally print me the outlines of my jig. And I could take paper over my jig and make sure that it fits precisely. Okay? The next thing we do is if I go to jig layout, you can see it has put my product in the center, left to right, top to bottom, in all of my 20 iPhone cases which match this jig. Notice that these files are different files. So in order to do this, I needed my files to be created in the exact dimension. In this case, I'm doing two inches by two inches. All of them the same. And then when I click on my properties tab here, this gives me my job list. I literally went here and down to here and held down my shift key and I selected all of these jobs. It could have been all 20. In this case, for example, I just did four. I went next to my range tab. My range tab says arrangeable. 
So when I click this arrange, it linked these all together so it brought all of these in. Now I'm gonna click on this arrange, okay, and it's there. So now when I go back to my jig print, it has brought all the files in. So I will execute a print from with jig print by clicking my execution printer icon. That means every one of these files will be placed in here. Now we're moving back to the machine. All right. Action. Okay, now we're back over at our machine and I have ran a print of our jig. So these were the dimensions of the product, of the jig, and of the integral pitch that I mentioned in that first file that I showed you. If you look at the bed, when I first did jig print, it printed an outline. Then I went on and I said, I will arrange and pull all my individual variable files in, which here they are inside the squares. You can see not every file is the same. Now, if I had this bed loaded with iPhone cases, this is exactly where they would reside. So by building jigs, whatever your product is from uh, memory sticks to cell phone cases to whatever it may be, but in practice, and I started out with a piece of paper over my jig, and these lines laid out perfectly. There are many more tutorial videos on our PDS Equipment YouTube channel. Please refer there often if you are a Mimaki owner of any nature, we would love to have you as a customer and we can support you with technical support for your patronage to our website for your consumable supplies. So I thank you for this time and call PDS Equipment out of Nashville, 1-800-737-1734 for anything Mimaki. Thank you.